Oh, a shopkeeper. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. How are you? How are you, sir? Good. Somebody who has rich and generous. Yeah, Even that, if you're rich, that's not possible. A uh, long way home. Insane, so, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you look right with cannabis. Right with cannabis. <laughs> yeah. I do, eh? Yeah. Kind of reminders that people have to keep the village clean. You see, use me. Um, all of a sudden, the British started shelling from George Summer side towards this side. Hey, good morning guys and welcome to a new video. Today we are in a small village. There are kids all around the place. Hello. How are you? How are you? Our host, um, Nesato, took us here this morning with um, other guests from the, from, from the guest house we stay. We're going to take a walk around the village and see how people live. It's a, it's a rather big village actually, by the look of it. But yeah, we're going to take a, run, take a walk around and see how it is, it looks lovely. So what's, what's your village name, buddy? Giguema. Giguema? Yeah. Okay. It's a yeah, rather small village, eh? Yeah, it's a... Uh, We're gonna be walking I, around, I but... I it's small. I would actually pack it in the larger area because it's a village. Okay. Population is about like 7,000. Oh, yeah, okay. Also, oh, it's more like a... Yeah. Yeah. A so, it's a town. Right, almost a town, yeah. but yeah. I still prefer to retain the name village. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Usually, you would actually have cattle come so yeah. you'll have your cows come and then they can stay in this uh, side of the area yeah mm -hmm. and then now obviously all the cows are in the jungle but typically you would actually cordon off this area so that you can actually save the manure you know both the, oh, yeah, of you know the number one and the number two come here and then you actually kind of uh, you know you use that as manure for your vegetables yeah so uh, almost nothing is actually wasted yeah. yeah and that's zero waste <laughs> really no i mean how to actually you know just use what is actually available to you naturally so. <laughs> oh a shopkeeper hello sir hello sir how are you how are you sir good good <laughs> can i have a ah! are you leaving the shop you're not working anymore <laughs> okay so I can just help myself? <laughs> what is your name? Kroza. Kroza? Yeah. And you? Medusa. Ka sorry? Medusa. Medusa. And you? Nakavilu. Nakavilu. Okay, pass the ball. Oh, 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 well done. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Sato? Yeah. Did they actually paint also the colors of the house and the Argentina color? No, no, no. <laughs> no, I know, of course. Every year, <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, the houses, or rather, I mean, the walls paint uh, green, I think. I mean, some pink. Okay. Yeah. So, re remind me, what is the name of uh, your tribe? Angami. On Gami, oh yeah, 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 you told me it's the biggest one. Right. Yeah. Not the biggest one. One of the biggest. Not even one of the biggest. Well, they, ha they had the biggest hurt at the festival. <laughs> <laughs> but they're Actually, the ones that are in this area, that's why I think they're like more... Yeah, oh yeah, true, yeah. yeah more okay. prominent because, you know, kind of, uh, here's where more okay. of the traffic actually comes in. Yeah, so big so, in Kohima, small yeah. in Nagaland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know about you, Gregu, but I feel like I'm... Um, some somewhat like you know within the viking yeah oh <laughs> oh yeah especially with your hairdo as well <laughs> it's viking haircut yeah it's cold actually yeah you you like you blend in perfectly right now in the frame <laughs> so yeah I was, I was jokingly saying guys that they painted the houses blue and white uh to the colors of argentina because on top of uh you see even the wood that's funny on top of the house, you see that just some flags are raised. We have Portugal, Argentina, Brazil, Spain. So those are the countries they are rooting for, for the World Cup. France is not there. So I'll have to uh, come back uh, later at night to pick them all down and put a big French one instead. It's, it's a nice little village. <laughs> so this one, if you see something like this, mm -hmm. it meant that is. A rich and a generous guy. 
Somebody who have rich been, and generous. Yeah, so even if you're rich, that's not, not possible. <laughs> Never heard of that. Never heard of that. So, but how can you tell? Is there something that says that? The old mito. In our culture, what you need to do is actually, once you acquire a certain amount of means, then you are not, you know, kind of obligated, but you know. People will actually share. Mm. There is an expectation. Exactly, there is an expectation that you actually share mm. whatever you have, right? So you will actually have a feast of merit. In our language, it is called yatsha. Yeah, so you will have a feast of merit. In the first year, perhaps you will be actually able to decorate one of your main pillars, mm. something like this. You know, carve out a couple of mitun heads and you know, kind of yeah. keep it. On the mm. second, you are actually allowed to add more decorations. Mm. And then on the third, you are actually allowed to actually keep that that cross up there, no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. The, yeah. Yeah. So that, that's the cross, eh? Yeah, it means that. I thought it was like a thank you or something, sir. Uh, provide a feast for the entire village and the neighboring friendly villages, mm. and you have actually earned that. So during mm. that process, mm. you are actually supposed to fast for about seven days, mm. and then you will have you know virgins coming in. I mean to actually do the cleansing process of your house and. Of your mm. utensils, etc., mm. and then there are two. It's very difficult in Delhi. We don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, guys, I just realized there is actually a grave right in the middle of the courtyard, and I, I didn't realize I was going to step on it to go there. And see, in, in loving memory of our beloved grandfather. Oh, look, there's another one here. Yeah, it's interesting. Like they really uh, uh, bury the uh, the dead. Uh, Inside the, the house premises. Hello, how are you? <laughs> so, see, guys, another small village in India. We've explored a few already, uh, but they're all so different from one another in, in, in culture, in way of living, in beliefs. Yeah, 90 over 90% 90 of people here in Nagaland are Christian. <coughs> big, big rooster here. So quiet. Wear a mask. Save lives. Wash hands frequently. Stay safe. Hello. Hello how are you? Hi. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Hello. Hey. Water is live, conserve water. And then it's probably written in Naga. Hello. This is this is a Naga language? Naga. Yeah? I would say so. Oh she's weaving uh, weaving some threads. Hello! Good morning. Morning, morning. How are you? As be as well. Can you hear it? Ah, it's very nice. I don't know what she's making, but the colors are lovely. Nice and bright colors. Yeah, those small villages really give you like a peaceful vibes. You know, there's is not much, you know, but they have everything they need to to get by. To leave, I saw a lot of crops around the village as well. It's a lot of lot of plants, lots of flowers. It's very colorful. Hello, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, so we're going up to. I'm just catching up with the rest now, and we've gone up to the house with all the flags. Time for me to take them down. That's a nice view from here. What is that star for? Christmas. Is this Christmas, eh? Yeah. Okay. Christmas decoration. Yeah. Okay. So Christmas is probably bigger than anywhere else. Uh, yeah. Because 98% Christians and yeah. actual practicing Christians. So. Yeah. yeah. Actual, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not like in Europe, like yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. Where 
you don't, you know, become, I mean, you're not a Christian by birth, but, you know, it's, uh, you are actually literally practicing it, so. Yeah. Do you have, like, mass on Sundays, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The place shut down on Sundays. I think the restaurants don't open on Sundays. Apart from the church, <laughs> the yeah, church yeah, is yeah. open. Yeah, go to go. Yeah. These Catholics don't. <laughs> half the Catholics don't believe in God at all. So these guys are pretty hopeless at, at religion. But here they take it seriously. Yeah. Seriously. So, so your grandfather's. You, yeah. you knew your grandfather. Yes, yes. Your grandfather's worldview would be different from your worldview. Absolutely. I mean, my worldview absolutely have changed. I mean. I have actually lived all over the world, right? So I think, I mean, with that knowledge of a different life, uh, core values, I don't think I mean, it will change. I mean, like, you know, having a belief in community, having a belief yeah. that... Mm. This you get it as a child, as you grow up, like yeah. it stays in you. Yeah. Mm. So... Uh, it's very much encouraged, I mean, that, you know, you are actually caring for the elderly, respecting the elderly. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why you have so many old people. I mean, you have a 120 year old lady. Obviously, she has to be taken care of. I mean, and she wants, she has the zeal to live still just because there are people I mean, who love her. Okay, who love her. Yeah. 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 And then my grandma, who is 100 years old, our pastor who is 102 years old. So I think those things uh, you just subconsciously imbibe in your self yeah. I mean, as you grow up. Right? Is it common for people to live that old? My great grandmother was also 104 when she died. So it's also to do with way of life too. I mean, yeah. you guys, while we are just walking, I mean, the village. Mm. That's a routine for us. I mean, if I have to actually visit my cousin, whose house is near? Yeah, you don't want find many fat people here. There, you literally have to, to actually walk all burn all quite a bit of calories. I mean, yeah. 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 it's a healthy lifestyle, yeah. probably yeah. non-processed food as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I think the problem helps. is the life no expectancy at birth. No sugar. Yeah. When you the, between zero and five is the time when people die here. Yeah. yeah. Once you cross five, then it's pretty common for everybody. You to go to hundred. You can easily go to seventy, eighty. But yeah. the problem yeah. is the earlier life is the medical care is not that great. Then oh, okay, then life, okay. Life expectancy yeah. at birth is low. Yeah. Mm. Not to be confused with longevity. That is common to most people. Okay. Yeah. Um. Hey, something very interesting there. Leisato was just saying that in Nagaland there is no such thing as art as bargaining. It can actually be considered as offensive to bargain because uh, whatever price they, um, they decide on, you would think it's worth, I don't know, 2,000 rupees. Then don't come in a shop and try to bargain because they will actually feel offended. So it's a bit, it's a, this is something that's very different from the rest of the country, I would say, like in Delhi, for example, if you don't bargain, it's almost the other way around, you will be taken for a fool. Like you start at 2000 and then you get it for 200. A couple of things are just working in a different way, in a different fashion here, I suppose. This is so random. Lamination service, scan and print available here. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think so, eh? looking at the outside. You wouldn't think it's a printing shop, yeah, eh? Yeah. So all, all, yeah. all you three guys are uh, traveling together, you all from Delhi? Is no. It? So we are friends for a very, very long time, but yeah. Sajan, the, I can uh, tell he's from connection. Delhi. Okay. Jose and me live in Goa. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Goa. So Goa is like southwest, west, yeah, western yeah. province. Yeah. yeah. On, the, on the western coast. Nice. We have an outdoor library here. Community library. Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah, it's funny. Library. Up for you. We have like the kids, the kids section here. The boy and the wolf. The boy and the wolf. You get some Harry Potter. Let's move the open. Yeah, yeah. And then some adult reading and. Naisato was just telling us like kids just come here, you know, during the day, in the evening. They come, they open, grab a book and read. It's good. Educational area. And you have the list of uh, contributor here. So people like, yeah, just come here, drop books for other to use. So in Goa, you you from Goa? I live there. I'm from Kerala actually. But are you from Kerala? But you okay? Goa, live in Delhi. Yeah. Do what language do you guys speak there? In Goa, we speak mostly in English. They speak Konkani among themselves. Okay. But mostly everybody's Anglophone. They all speak English. I see. Uh, no Hindi there? 
there is hindi but yeah, yeah. better hindi yeah okay yeah. people understand hindi very well okay people understand hindi perfectly okay you been there you been to goa no 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 my brother is in goa now but i'm not yeah i'm not there i, I will go there but i'm a bit slow because i'm riding motorcycle you're coming you're coming on a bike yeah i came on a bike so yeah you picked up a bike in india and then no 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 i came from france with it you came oh yeah. my goodness you've been doing a blog but you you do a blog in english or yeah i don't know that story yeah Yeah, yeah, long way home. Insane, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> That's just the appearance, buddy. <laughs> I'm completely nuts <laughs> inside. Once you scratch the surface, yeah, yeah, it's I'm all fucked up. Yeah, yeah, I, get it. <laughs> <laughs> I did 700 kilometers once to Badrinath on my bullet, and I thought, oh man, not again. <laughs> Back was uh, so. <laughs> 750 kilometers, nothing much, but it was. Up yeah, up it's up still, up still. Up Where did you go? From Delhi to Badrinath, which is up in, in the okay. border, Nepal border. It's one of the old uh, oh, okay. Shiva temples. Oh, okay. Just no bone most of the year. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, so you ride a bullet? I have, yeah, I want one of the 500 nice. easy ones. It's not easy on the hills. Is is Goa a nice place for riding? Yeah, you can hire bikes there, left and right. There, everybody bikes there. Yeah. Great place. Ah, and cool they man. They all mm. love the Royal Royal Enfield. This, uh, yeah, this is a place uh, I look forward to going. It's uh, the Western Ghats. Mm, I think Ghats it's a little bit. Guts are a better problem. Yeah, it's South Africa. I mean, uh, the guts run all of, all along including the Western coast, including Goa. Oh, okay. Goa too. Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Goa, yeah. Maharashtra. I see. So you can take the guts road all the way down to the south. Let's go. South oh, okay. Kanyakumari, almost. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Sure, I love how they trim the uh, entrance. Yeah. Very orderly and neat. Yeah, very neat. Tidy. Yeah. Keep your village clean. It is part of your job. Key for Seka. Kichi ki. Can you translate please Gregor? <laughs> What is that building? Tana Hall community center the most community center. Your name is Sally. 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 So I just met Sally, one of the village uh, guy and he's got something in French <laughs> bon courage. And you didn't know it was French, huh? Eh? Yeah, well, no. <laughs> yeah, it means good luck. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, in French. So Sally was telling me this is the community building, eh? Yes, this is our community building. Nice. So it's uh, it's made of wood, eh? Wood. Yeah, it's made of wood. We we connected from the dense forest. Okay, so you cut the wood from the forest and yeah, just build it. Yeah. We brought it here and we. You brought it here and you built and you carved everything. Yeah, it's uh, a very nice carving, eh? What what does it represent? The carving. Different times. Yeah. Mm. It's from ancient ancient yeah, time. Yeah, from ancient. Yeah. Symbol, yeah, ancient, uh, ancient symbolic. Yeah. yeah, let's take a look. Let's take a, a closer look. Can, can I can I go? Yeah? yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, you see, you put the flags yeah, of the Cup. continent for the World Cup. World Cup fever. Where is the French? Oh, yeah, there is a French flag there. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> Finally, a French flag. Oh, look at them carving, headhunters. Welcome 2013. The building was made 2013. Yes, it's. Yes. Yeah, it's easy here on top. Yeah, so it's it's very nice, eh? So who who did it? Like people from the village? Yeah, people from the village. Okay. Did you participate? Yeah. Uh, you did also? Yeah, yeah, participate. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> awesome, man. Ah, this is thick, uh, thick wood, eh? Beautiful. One of the door. One of the door, yeah. And inside, you're just like gathering. Yeah. We have packed some things. Yeah. Okay. Like chair and all that. Huh? There are some things. Uh, okay. Things inside. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you, bro. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Water will be more important than oil this century. Well, that's very true. There is a lot of places with the lack of water. Hello, sir. And if we can. Uh, increase the electric use for cars and everything that will definitely help so this is a, another rich guy who threw a lot of parties great grandfather his great your great great grandfather no, great grandfather so okay grandmother and father no sato you were saying before that for for them to be able to put all the decoration yeah. it means like these are from feast of mary yeah. I mean, you, so you one know. one per event or something is it no 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 so you would actually use up like 
mitunz. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. For uh, if you are to do a feast, yeah, not less to less than ten to twenty uh, cattle. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And then and you are feasting the whole village, right? I mean, so yeah, yeah, inviting yeah. everybody. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then you just put them up. Yeah. Yeah. So you can come in. I memory. Typical setup from Naga House, actually. So it's a long house. storage. Yeah. That's for rice. Yeah. This was what, and this is for this is beer. Oh, this Back in the day, this is for beer. It's for beer. Make mm. beer and then store it here. Wow. Yeah, it is. It is cool. Wow. In Goa, we would call this a kodo. A kodo? Uh, same color. We had it in our... Similar in Goa. Yeah. Where we store the rice after yeah. we harvest it in the year. And we keep one smaller one for, as a seed for the, the next uh, planting. Yeah, hey, because those ones are, are huge. Right? They are very huge, yeah. Six of them, yeah. A couple of ducks roaming around and big pigs. Oh man, those are huge. Another one here. Those animals would eat anything you give them. Oh, this one is having a big rest. <laughs> oh, and another, you see another grave here. Hello kids. Hello kids. Hello kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> you speak good English, eh? Nine. Yeah. So he's eight years old. You are nine years old. Yes. And you? <laughs> no, maybe no English yet. <laughs> maybe maybe five, six, maybe. Five. Five, eh? And you, buddy? Uh, seven. Seven years old. Nice. <laughs> Hello guys. Hey. Uh, how are you? Hi, hi. So no school today? Government, government middle school. You are in government middle school? Yes. Okay, but today no school. Today holiday? Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> My name is Pierre. <laughs> Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it's a weird name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay guys. Have a nice day. See you. See you buddy. See you. See you. Bye bye. Hey, you see guys, they keep on having those uh, kind of reminders that people have to keep the village clean. You see, use me. Cleaning and organization is a practice, not a project. It's very interesting. I don't remember seeing that anywhere else. Uh, I mean, it works well. I mean, it's very clean as you can see. See, they have like small dustbins at different corners, donated by someone. As Neisato was saying before, like nine nine thousand people, are, uh, no, sorry, seven thousand people are living here, are, are living in this village. So it's not really a village; it's a small town. It's quite big. You keep on walking. It looks, it gives you the village vibe because you know it's just small streets and alleyways and all, but. It's actually quite big. Now we're getting to another place, ethnic corner. See again, guys, how to love, how to love the earth. So what do we have here? Ethnic corner, open. That's some corn. Oh, I don't know. I think we have time to that. Oh, that's yeah. nice. We can have it here. We can have it. That's oh, so a uh, small local restaurant. So what are we gonna try? Wild apple tea maybe. But they have so many variety of teas. This that's hot tea. Hot tea, yeah. yeah. It's very affordable as well. You see how they hung up the corn? Mm. Mm. Oh, so that's what the woman was uh, weaving before? Yes, this, this, type, this type. What is it called, do you know? This is a shawl. It's a shawl, eh? yeah. I don't know what it's... This is 800. 800, okay. And remember, no bargaining. Yes. <laughs> of course, of course, it's worth it. Yeah. So some are more expensive. You see, those ones are 2,000. 
It's very really nice here. Yeah. I love it. See, the, all the snacks are lined up here. It's cheeky puff fries. Yeah, this must be... Hello. Hello, how are you? Good morning. Can I have a... Oh, yeah, you have it here. Wild apple tea. Oh, this is wild apple juice. Oh, that's nice. I'll have one, please. Uh, I'm, I'm going to I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll take this one. Okay, okay. And you also have uh, white apple tea, I think. Yes, yes, yes. I saw. Can I try? Apple tea. Yes, yes. Please. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, well, I, was not, I was not ready for alcohol. I thought it was just going to be juice. No, if you leave it long enough, it becomes alcohol. Yeah, true. So the lady brought different different snacks. Yes. So I, I, I didn't hear what she was saying, but this one looks interesting. Do you, do you know which one is it? Like here. I was actually telling you about, I mean, these but are desert. Forgotten. I mean, sort this of is like sweet. sweet, yeah. It's oh, not okay. sweet, but yeah. yeah, the closest to sweet you'll actually get. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, that's for me, this one. Yeah, tea, yeah. yeah. No, no alcohol, eh? Wild apple tea. Wild apple tea. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> I mean, these are very mild, though. I mean, even if it is. This is sweet. This is sweet. Is that corn as well? No, that's rice again. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that's rice too? Yeah. I thought it was corn. It tastes like popcorn a little bit. Mm. Yeah, it's it's rice. Rice. Yeah, the taste rice. is so Puff similar. Puff and what's this one here? No idea. Mm. Pella seeds. Oh. This is pella seeds. We made with this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Not dipping for high mm. oh, this, this is mum beans. Mm. Mum beans, okay. Yeah, yeah. I like this. Oh wow, okay. Oh yeah, full plate. Yeah. We have more. Oh, this is a seed. Oh, it's so it? sticky. Mm. You can boil it. Oh, oh. It's all lentils. Ah, money on the Airbnb. No, wait a moment. It's a bit chewy. Very. Mm. It's not that. It's not sweet actually. Oh, but mm. A little bit. No. It's not sweet at all. The sweet yeah. is you will put sugar in. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, she brought sugar separately. Mm. We don't use sugar. I mean. Yeah, salt? you were saying actually salt. before. You can sprinkle a little sugar if you want yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Salt. This is for people like you who come in and eat sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Naga is one of desserts and sweets. That oh, that's why the other day you said to me you yeah. shouldn't try the um, cheesecake here. Yeah. Remember? Because yeah. they're not not used to making yeah. them. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. there are very good chefs now. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, this is the sticky rice roti. Sticky mm. rice roti. Sticky rice roti. 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 Mm. Nice, okay. Okay. Oh, yes, uh, mm. French, French. oily. Enjoys. <laughs> oh, so oily. <laughs> it's good. Mm. You like it? Mm. <laughs> so, we'll ask for more. Yes, yes. Yeah, please keep one on. more. Keep one more. C'est bon, c'est bon. Okay, so we smashed all the local snacks. Thank you so much, ladies. It was excellent. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Take care. So the the lady she's made all the all the shawls? Yeah yeah. Oh wow. By herself. How long how long does it take you to make one? Uh, it... According to the size. Okay. Yeah. Let's say an average size. Let's uh, say this one you're wearing now. No, this one is. This is not made of. Make, yeah. So this one comes like a factory. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cheating. <laughs> she, but yeah, like. She's going to start. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, how long roughly do you know? For. Her, Oh, uh, lady straw. Yeah. Uh, this white one. Yeah. Four weeks. Four weeks, eh? Yes, yes. For one. H handmade now. Because wow. Of, yeah. <coughs> but I didn't realize it would take so long. Yes. Yeah, that's why it's very important to understand the context of how yeah. it's actually made. Yeah. If it's just manufactured out of a factory, then yeah, of course. Different. So yeah. Yeah, yours probably took 15 seconds. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Yeah, like, this is only yeah, machine made. Yeah. This one is machine made. 15 seconds, I mean, yeah. you, you would be right actually. Yeah. Yeah. Are the younger girls learning also how to do this? Yes, they yes. Continue? Yes, very much. I wouldn't be yeah. very empathetic yeah. as you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, most, most of the young... Uh, by the way, I mean, uh, one of her handloom actually uh, was taken by the president of India as well. Mm. The president of India. Uh, Momo. Yes. Yeah, when she came here, actually, she, she saw one of those white shawls. Mm. Yeah, she was yeah. so, you know, impressed. Impressed with that. And mm. then she actually asked for that gift. So it was given to her. I mean, obviously, it's an honor I mean, to give it to her. So mm. everybody was more than happy. I mean, good she didn't her. bargain. <laughs> she got the freezer, there's no more. Uh, I know. <laughs> no, kind of our extra industrious uh, men 
Man does it around and just sit around, you know, practice for a while. Let's do it. What will the cost of this be? It's a theater. Turn this theater. Yeah. Mm. Three thousand for this one. Yeah. It'll take almost three weeks. How long? Yeah. It would take about three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take. I'll take this one. Okay. That could be used as a, you know, scarf also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one, you can actually fold it up. I should be selling selling shawls here instead of. You should you know, be exactly. Yeah. I, don't know. I think you may have one. I think it's like this. Yes, yes. Like this also, but generally for ladies, it's more like a sash, you know, oh, kind of. The one, mm. the one that you would that. wear it as a suit. I mean, something similar color. I mean, as a wrap around like this. And then this is how you get to charge. <laughs> ah. You look great. You don't put a pin or something there? No, not required. Just put. Yeah. Mizao is a uh, thank you? Mizao, yes. Mizao, Ah, You're welcome. Thank you so much. And my mom will be happy. For my, for my mother. I will give to my mother. How do you say how do you say mom mother? That's a ladies thing, no? Yeah. I just want to tell her I, so, I just want to tell her I'm gonna give it to my mom. Okay, okay. Also baby she azo. Mother means azo. Azo, azo. Yeah. Mira azo. Azo. Good luck. Bye bye, Mizao, Mizao. Okay, bye bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Have a nice day. Okay. Thank same you. To you. And ju just to make sure, so the small ones, like, how long is it? Obviously, handmade as well. Ah, uh, this one. Yeah. For three days. Three days. Eh? Yeah, three days to make eight, it. Eh? Yeah, wow. Yeah, three days. It's a lot of work. Yeah. A lot of work. Yeah. So yeah, it's definitely worth five hundred. I mean, yeah. for me, I feel like I made a bargain. Maybe it's mm. good for her. I suppose it's good price for her. But for she me, like, like someone who... because of that, uh, she's saying directly. 500. Oh yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I didn't intend to bargain yeah, anyway, yeah. but uh, just knowing that she took mm -hmm. three days to make yeah, that, for me, I feel like it's a very good deal, yes, you know. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. it's it's hard work. I mean, yeah. it's very hard work. I'm very impressed. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, <laughs> pleasure to okay. meet you. Eh? Okay, have, have a lovely you. day. Okay, bye bye. Take you. care. I found the cutest little girl <laughs> in the village. Hello. <laughs> Ah, she wants the camera. She will be a she will be a vlogger as well. Okay, have a nice day. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, those are small banana trees. Eh? Oh, this one. Yeah, no. no yeah. These ones are yams. Yeah, yeah. yams. Yeah. Okay. Why well, it smells from here? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Cannabis? This cannabis. Oh, this cannabis. Yeah. Grows wild in Uttarakhand, but not here. Do they make Do they make oil with it, or did just smoke it, or? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying you. Uh, you look right with cannabis. <laughs> I do, eh? So yeah, what What do they do with it? Usually, it would actually go to pig feed, etc. When it's actually not healthy. Pig feed. Yeah. Oh, what a waste! Stone pigs. Stone pigs. <laughs> yeah, stone pigs. Ah, it's a medical purpose yeah, yeah. for pigs. Yeah. <laughs> it's so random, you know. We didn't expect to come across cannabis plants in this village. We use only for medical purpose, of course. Hey, look at that, guys. They have a big fireplace here in one of the village places. Hello. I'm not sure what they are. Oh, yeah, they're just putting up a uh, Christmas decoration up here. Hello, Hello. Hello how are you? <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. You're putting up Christmas decoration? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. Hello, guys. It's funny, there's a giant umbrellas. Hello, sir. Hello, boss. Hello, hello. You are from which country? I come from France. France? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. So, which country you are supporting in World Cup? For France, of course. 
Of course, yeah. And you? France and you? Argentina. France and yes. Argentina. Yes! Good pick. <laughs> good pick. Okay, good luck to you guys. Oh, have a nice day. Fingers. Okay, buddy, have a nice day. Okay, same to you. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> We are sporting France, so he was my friend straight away. <laughs> yeah, so he was the gentleman that I yes. was talking about who actually met General Sato. And, yeah. So he was a teenager back then. He understands English, you can talk to him. So 98 years old and yeah. 98, eh? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, uh, 96, man, 98, right? Yeah. Six. Oh, 96, yeah. So he met Sato, General Sato? Yeah, yeah. He actually was on small jobs and running errands and stuff mm. like that. I mean, for both the Japanese as well as the British. Uh, First the Japanese and basically. then the British. Yeah. yeah so, so, so can you ask him just uh, yeah. whom, whom he liked more mm. yeah, as employees? Yeah. Who did he like? You can ask him. He'll answer. I'll translate. British so we like both the Japanese as well as the British mm -hmm. but one thing which we didn't like or he didn't like is that just because uh, the war is actually raging there in Kohima mm. and then all of the neighboring villagers are actually also camping here in this village all of a sudden the British started shelling from Jotsama side towards this side and on the first day itself, nine people, nine of the villagers died. Oh, civilians. Yeah. Mm. Not soldiers. Mm. They were upset with that. Yeah. And about more than 20 people actually got injured. There was no warning. Yeah, there was no warning. They could have evacuated the villagers. Yeah. 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 No, no, no warning. And this still upsets him. I mean, that, you know, yeah. there was no warning. Sad. Innocent lives lost. Yeah. 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 Mistaken identity again, in a way. Twelve, I mean, all of those twenty who were actually injured in the war actually also died of the injuries. Yeah. So when Britishers actually visit the village now and he talk about this stuff, Mm. They will actually apologize, but oh, there is no point of an apology no. now <laughs> because that's been. not going to bring back lives. Yeah. There should have been some re reparations, compensation to the families. So. Uh, yeah, anyway, so actually, this is where. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Wow. How's that, Franz, ma? How's that, Pierre? So, how's that, Kerala, ma? How's that, Goa, ma? We also hate the Indians. Goa. <laughs> Yeah, so you you were telling me so the uh, bridge stopped the Japs here. Yeah, yeah bridge stopped Japs in, in Kohima. In, in, in Kohima, yeah. In Fal, but the main battle was in Kohima. Okay, and, and that was <laughs> before forty-seven yeah, yeah, yeah. then. Actually, forty-four. Forty-four. Yeah. Yeah. Here they landed on April, April forty-four. Yeah. Yeah. So it was during Second World War. Yeah, 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 it was. It was Second World War. Okay. Basically, the world was really messed up everywhere yeah, then. Yeah. Because the Japanese had Burma under control, but the British supply lines from here were supplying to Burma. The fight in Burma ah. was going through this area, so the Japanese wanted to block the supply lines I see. right here. I don't think they had an intention of taking over India at that point. Okay. And they hoped our man, Subhash Chandra Bose, would then yeah. help them to take over India at some point. Yeah. Okay. The fireplace just behind me, Nisato was telling me that every night the villagers gather here. Uh, when the night falls around 4.30 and then, you know, that's where they would make some uh, decision about, you know, the community and, and all. Still, still now, still nowadays. Hello. Hello. What, what are you playing? Excuse me? From France. Pleasure to meet you too, buddy. Oh yeah, Karun is the name here. Oh yeah, yeah, you've got to put those in the. You've got to oh, sing them, yeah. Good. Nice, nice shot. Good shot. Ancient traditional game of India. Yeah, yeah. yeah actually, very good. Actually, Indians are actually that good. Okay, also, oh, this, oh, this yeah, game is from India. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know, it's not from oh, India. I don't think it's from India, but we are very good at it actually for some reason. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, this is from India. Karun is from India. Oh, this is also from India, right? 
What a lovely town, eh? What a lovely town. Hello, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love walking around those uh, small alleyways, uh, discover the way people live, see the kids playing football around, where the uh, adults are, are gathering on that fireplace and see um, how the women are working as well, working the field, but also working the fabric. Yeah, it's just cool, man. You don't, I don't get to do this kind of stuff every day, walking around Indian villages like that and, and, and see the way they actually live. So anyway, that's it. That's it, guys, for, for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a good time like I did. I'll see you soon, guys.